Good evening and thank you for joining us for the Spotlight Domestic Violence Crackdown. I'm David Rose. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, also called DV Action Month. And that's what we're doing tonight, showing you a dangerous domestic violence offender who is on the run and giving you the tools and legal information you need over the next half hour to protect yourself, your children, and even your pets, whether it's from physical or emotional abuse. At the time of the crime, you were armed with a deadly weapon with a screwdriver. A husband in court accused of stabbing his wife at least 100 times at the Ballard nail salon they own. Six weeks earlier in Shoreline in July, a son arrested after his mother is found murdered in her townhome. Two of the 11 domestic violence homicides in King County so far this year. Last year, there were 16 compared to 18 in 2020 and four in 2019 before the pandemic. Domestic violence is a driver of violent crime and violent death in this community. David Martin is a senior deputy prosecuting attorney in King County and the chair of the domestic violence unit. They've seen an increase in felony level domestic violence cases. Almost 23% of all charges filed in the first half of September were DV related. The domestic violence unit um, files more cases than any other unit at the prosecutor's office. For example, 29 year old Dejakeem McDaniel has multiple warrants for his arrest. He's wanted for DV related crimes in Auburn, Tacoma, Milton, Puyallup and South King County. His criminal history includes arrests for displaying a weapon, harassment, assault, criminal mischief, theft, and exposing children to domestic violence. We want to get him locked up. King County Sheriff Sergeant Corbett Ford says detectives just filed a new case with the prosecutor's office this week, alleging domestic violence assault and unlawful imprisonment. Our concern is for the victim in this case and any other victims that may be out there that he may, he may come in contact with. If you're willing to be violent, with people you know and love, then you typically don't have a problem being violent with people you don't know and you don't care about. Martin says the goal of Domestic Violence Awareness Month is to try to prevent it from happening in the first place. For example, it's easier than ever to go online to apply for a protection order. Simply point your smartphone at this QR code. You don't have to talk to police or go to the courthouse. We have advocates who are available online to assist people with these orders if they want it. So the, the order process is much better than it used to be. It's much more streamlined um, and it's all done remotely now compared to in years past. Many communities are also holding events this month. In Marysville, the Domestic Violence Awareness Walk on October 6th offers steps to break the silence. Those that, that know somebody that's experiencing domestic violence, I think it's important to be able to, to extend a hand, reach out to them.